Good morning, it's Monday the 28th December. I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas with families and friends and uh, for a lovely day here in London at the moment. It's been terrible elsewhere in the north of England still. So I, I haven't painted for over a week now so uh, probably a bit rusty. I'm, work, I'm just working from views on uh, the uh, BBC News showing, uh, it was showing some, uh, on Country Fire last night, Leicestershire. I didn't realise it was quite so hilly. So I'm going to do some sort of down here. And so I'll see how we go. Um, I, I was looking forward to a nice moist palette this morning, but as you can see, my, it's been in my Ziploc bag since last Thursday week. Uh, Harry, the kitten, decided he would spend some time sitting on it. So he squashed, squashed the, 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 the paints and they've all dried now. I made a bit of a mess of my Ziploc bag. So we'll, we'll let him off this time. What I'll do is to wet the paper all over. Just a wetting wet. Something on there sort of comeback picture. You seem to have liked the, the, the black ink or black acrylic paint and brush painting of the old oak tree that I did for my daughter, her partner. This is very significant to them. I don't know why, but that's what they wanted. And that's what I've done. Right, okay, so a bit of, uh, now I'm not sure what, what brush I've got here, I think this is the one that goes into the clumps, so I think I'm going to change it to the old one. Oh dear, it's cracking. Mm. Oh well, Stephen Cronin had one that uh, cracked. I've been looking at Smoothie's stuff, his drawings and his watercolour drawings. He puts an awful lot of work into his his, uh, his um, artwork, but I would highly recommend you watch him. There's great things with graphite. And uh, I'm quite in awe of his ability to draw. I apparently can't draw, but... Uh, I draw well enough to paint, but apparently there's some thought I couldn't paint either. So here we are, doing what we do. So a bit of, bit of uh, raw sienna, just a tint. Tint the, uh, the paper. Just give it an overall warmth and we can, into that we can add some, some other colours like light red or alizarin. Yeah, that's put in for, for general warmth. And then we'll put in a bit of a tricycle. I need a, a cloth handy. I haven't been in my studio since I... It, it just, I just, you just get that bad feeling when you look at your, your unused paints and you feel, feel guilty, but we've done other things. As I'm sure have you. So we'll have a bit of bit of blue, a bit of light red. And we'll just put that in as a as a nice threatening sky. But threatening skies aren't nice over north of England, over the Lake District at the moment. Even York's been flooded, and that's quite an unusual event. Okay, that's it. Now we'll, we'll put in some blue, some just nice blue, perhaps a little bit of alizarin for a back job. So this is only a memory paint, it's making it up really. Fake's losing lots of hair still. And then we'll put 
was in a bit of, a bit of lighter stuff. Oh, darker stuff, shall I say. Bit of sienna. Mixed with that blue. Right. Don't really like that colour. No, let's change it. Put a bit of, bit of lemon yellow in. Which would be a bit green because it's always been having paints grey and other colours dipped into it. So they give us a a line across there, so a bit of uh, bit of hill coming down here. You do this, just change the colours the warmer as you come closer. And I can paint into that, get a bit of warmer. Okay, I will do for that. I wish I hadn't taken the handle off of this, this other one. Oh, I'll, I'll get another one. When the when the eBay settles down, there's a chance of actually getting stuff. All right, I'll just recut the paper. And this is just a, we're, we're off later on somewhere else, uh, but um, I'll probably do some on Wednesday. Uh, right, let's just put in something in this area here. So a nice bit of green there, I think a bit of paint's grey. Bit of lemon yellow. So let's just, catching the sun, such as it is. As we go into the shadow, we'll put in Then I can put some trees on this. I want some shadowy colours in the valley. Oh, yeah. Right, I'll, I'll texture into that as we get into it. Well, maybe I can do some of it now. A uh, bit of burnt umber, I think, a bit of red, a bit of blue. It's just a sparse sort of hillock. Now, if you're putting a wet paint or wet paint, you need the surface paint, the one that you're adding to be much thicker, otherwise it'll just bleed off to nothing. Some bits of grass and stuff here. Of a card there, I just, just a few, few rocks, nothing too difficult here. If you don't like it, always paint over it. It's just a little bit of texture on a swig of tea. Now, I want some. Um, some autumn or wintry colours now. So burnt umber, a bit of Payne's grey. Uh, and then just I'm really trying to make something attractive rather than graphic. Let's put in some hedge row, hedge stuff in here. And 
A lousy cough and cold. But then so is everybody else. Yeah. Right, a bit of dark in there. And then we'll uh, paint it. It paints grey, just nice and dark. Now some warmer colours. Well, that's not very warm, is it? In the end. Going over this. Hill. Spoon into that valley. And we'll put in some some stuff in there. That that'll give me some scope for painting ivy and stuff. And then we've got some darker trees on that, on this ridge here. So I'll use a bit of blue on there, a bit of darkest blue, a bit of umber. Then you do need a cloth to uh, take the water out of your brush. That blue just give that cool coolness as you go off into the very under. I'm just doing lots of hills here. Okay. Uh, right now, the paper's still a little bit, bit damp, so that's why it's gone like that. So it's sort of all wooded. Slope here. And just um, put a bit more blue in that as we go over the here. Right, uh, just re clip. We'll put some in here, something in there, just to put a bit of detail into, into that slope there. Sweet of tea. So we'll, we'll test you this with a, with a rigger in a minute. There. A bit of bit of bit of dark in there. Otherwise there's no perspective on. Okay. It's going out of the light, but there's the light on that hill. A bit of, bit of greeny colour. Oh, oh, just, just some bushes. Some watery, wintry warmth, and this here, there's a bit of light red in. Go over the top with it. A bit of blue. So it's in the shadow again.
I mean, this is all very simple stuff, but I don't feel like doing anything more challenging than, than this. Right, now I need to do some rigor work on that now. So I'm using uh, my number three rigger. Uh, can put in some ivy and all sorts of stuff on this. So I'm using blue and umber. Still for quite a while. It just gives you something to focus the eyes on. Very easy to do too much of this, but some random stuff in here. It's still a bit wet there. All right, let's just go back into the foreground and that's a bit of bit of nothing here. Right, little bushes. No, nothing in that one. I think we could put in a couple of figures in, in this make turn this into a sort of a pathway through a bit of bit blue. Going up the slope. Alright, I don't know what we'll call it, it's a bit of a nothing picture, but this gets me painting again. Well, I'll put it in a mount, not much else I can do with it. I don't really have anything in mind to do other than do something. Uh, so it's, it's a clean little picture. So there we are, we'll call that. Uh, uh, as we say, was Leicestershire, Leicester. Cows of Leicester. A couple of figures, just these trees. They're probably it's a bit too dark on the on these slopes here. It was very sloping with some blue hills in the background. As the paint the paint's gone right. That I don't dislike it, but it's because the painting underneath wasn't as dry as it should have been. Same as there, but. Uh, I don't know, that's not so bad. Just a sort of a walk in the country, walking off the Christmas dinner, Christmas day, something like that in, in Worcestershire, Leicestershire. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.